We all have preferences in life. It's always interesting to hear the debate over which truck brand is better. Perhaps you have a preference on your favorite type of shoe or the ultimate one, the preference on where you go out to eat with your spouse. You know, your spouse really doesn't care where you want to eat until you decide and then they don't like it. We have to be careful that we don't take our preferences and our preconceived notions and apply those to people. There are always going to be people that we don't get along with. There's going to be people we get along with better than others. But we need to realize that the gospel is a hope for everybody. In Matthew 20, Jesus tells a story, a parable, something meant to convey a truth of workers in a field. The workers who went out early, well, they got their wage at the end of the day. But he hired some at the very end, and they got the same wage. Obviously, the people who got hired first were pretty upset about it. But what Jesus was trying to tell uh, with this story was essentially this, that the gospel is for everybody, Jew, Gentile, or otherwise. Doesn't matter if you were there at the beginning or you came in at the end. The gospel's for everybody, and it's a hope for everybody. And it doesn't matter your past. What matters is the hope. And also conveyed in here is this it's a gift. Those guys that came in at the end, they didn't earn their salvation. In fact, they didn't work very long at all. But the free gift of salvation is for those who believe on, the, on Jesus Christ. So here's my question to you Do you know Jesus? Have you been given that hope? And if you're not there, it's never too late. Please remember, change begins in you. The Change Begins in You is brought to you in part by Piggly Wiggly of Collinsville, Patrick Allen Companies, Mitchell Tire and Wrecker in Collinsville, and Mowdy Cabinetry.